Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends series Retro Wave uh, Webman figure. So let's go over the packaging. So first we get the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man series logo here. And then you get a billboard of Webman here. And then you get Webman here. Nothing on the sides, top or bottom. Here's the back. That shows that you can switch off hands with wall crawling hands or with whipping hands. Here's the description if you guys want to pause and read that. We get that same billboard picture. We get that same Spider-Man Retro uh, logo there here is the dcpi but besides that let's crack them open and here is what man in the packaging so let's go over the accessories first so we don't have any build a figure figures i mean pieces so uh here is the wall crawling hands we finally get uh occasionally with spider man figures say so, yeah, we got some nice clean cobwebbing here we just get the blue hands we've seen these hands before too so yeah i like the blue that they use though it's very bright vibrant and then we got thwip thwipping hands here one for each hand. Like I said, cobwebbing looks clean. So yeah, like the blue, like I said. And that's all we got for accessories. So here is Webman up close. So this is, I think, is the Sunfire um, like body sculpt. And this is the Spider-Man UK head sculpt. Uh, so one problem that I do have with the face sculpt right now is that the or the paint job is that the bottom part looks like it's kind of tilted. Like you can kind of tell. So the top part of the paint, like for the cobwebbing, it's doing good. Like it's right going towards the center. Whereas this is kind of tilted there. It looks a little wonky. So I don't know what happened there. But the eyes look good. You get the nice white line. Uh, eyes, they, the cobwebbing looks straight. Like they're pretty clean. It's just that part right there is a little off centered there. And then you get the nice clean cobwebbing throughout the figure and the blue areas. So it looks really good there. And then the arms, you still get pinned joints. It's an older body mold. And you get the red on the... So this is basically a foot Spider-Man color. So instead of the red being there, it would be the blue. Instead of the blue right there, it would be red. And I like the red that they used on this, actually. It's pretty cool. And then you get that night, this really cool Spider-Man logo there. It looks like it's a little paint scuff there right in the center of the chest there. And then here's the legs. You get the red legs and then the uh, blue feet with the cobwebbing. Looks very clean. And you get the blue spider there in the back. Looks pretty cool. So let's go over your articulation. So he has a disc ball jointed head. So he looks down that far. Looks up that far, left and right. A uh, little head pivoting. Shoulders go out that far. 360 rotation there. He has butterfly joints. Uh, he has a biceps full, double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation there. He has an ab crunch. Uh, I will say that the paint is a little, you got to wear it out a little bit so ab crunch goes down that far backwards that far he has a waist swivel swivel 360 rotation there legs kick out that far forward pretty far that's good and backwards now a whole lot thigh cut double jointed knees uh boot cut ankles move down that far up that far nice ankle pivot so yeah that's webman for you i think this is a really cool figure i recommend you get him the only problem that i had with him was really the paint on the cobwebbing there i mean they're clean but like the bottom part there is like off centered there and i i didn't say this but did we get peg holes in the back still for him i mean i understand it because it's a sunfire sunfire mold but i think they could have like blocked it off maybe to make it look better but besides that that's all i really got we still get pin joints so obviously we'll still, still see those blue circles in the inner part of the elbows but it's whatever they're they're working on getting the figures better looking which is good so i wish they used the retro spearman mold though with the um upper uh ball joint and the ab, a lower ab crunch for that to get more articulation but yeah oh well um we're getting those that type of mold with the other figures coming out with the retro wave so yeah i think it's a really cool figure like i said i recommend you get but besides that, if you guys want to recommend, uh, if you guys want to help support me on my other stuff like TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check those out in the link tree in my description. But besides that, thanks for watching.